Hello and welcome to Verdictum. I am Ananya Singh and you're watching today's legal news where we update you with the recent important legal developments across the nation. Here are the headlines. Supreme Court to hear PIL for setting up National Commission for Men on July 3rd. Manipur Tribal Forum petition seeking deployment of army for protection of tribals to be heard by Apex Court on July 3rd. Karnataka High Court dismisses Twitter's plea challenging blocking orders by Methi imposes 50 lakhs in cost. Delhi High Court set to hear on July 3rd plea challenging civil services preliminary examination 2023. charges framed against Ravi Pujari for murder of Daud gang member in 1999 now let's take a detailed look at the headlines the supreme court is scheduled to hear on july 3rd a public interest litigation seeking the constitution of a national commission for men to safeguard their interests and framing of guidelines to deal with suicide by married men that are subjected to domestic violence the plea cited the national crime records bureau data of 2021 with the total number of suicides being approximately 164000 across the nation of which about 81000 were married men around 33.2% men ended their lives because of family problems and 4.8% due to marriage related issues in the year 2021 the petition also sought directions to the national human rights commission to deal with the issue of suicide by married men and accept complaints made by men suffering from domestic violence the plea is set to be heard by a bench of justices surekant and dipankar datta a bench of the supreme court comprising the chief justice of india d y chandrachud and justices p s narsimha and manoj mishra will be hearing on july 3rd the plea filed by ngo manipur tribal forum seeking the deployment of armed forces in the state of manipur for the protection of kuki tribals and prosecution of communal groups attacking them the ngo had previously on june 20th filed the petition for urgent hearing but the vacation bench headed by justice surekant had refused to list the matter urgently stating that it's a law and order issue and for the administration to be tackled solicitor general of india appeared for the state contesting that the plea does not need to be urgently listed and stating that the government is making all efforts to bring back the state to normalcy amidst violent incidents the ngo has then urged the top court to not rely on empty assurances given by the center and sought that army protection be provided to the tribals while also alleging that the center and cm of the state have embarked jointly on a communal agenda for the ethnic cleansing of the kukis in the state which account for about 40% of the state's population The violence in Manipur stemmed from the High Court order that asked the state to consider the inclusion of the Methi community in the ST list. The single judge bench of Justice Krishna S Dikshit of the Karnataka High Court dismissed the plea by twittering that challenged the blocking orders for 39 Twitter URLs issued by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. The order by the ministry was made under Section 69A of the Information Technology Act of 2000. that provides the center with the power to issue directions for blocking for public access of any information through any computer resource on grounds of sovereignty and integrity defense security friendly relations with foreign states public order or to prevent incitement of commission of offenses relating to the above the same section under subsection 3 provides that an intermediary failing to comply with the orders can be punished with imprisonment up to 7 years and can also be held liable for fine which can be unlimited twitter had challenged the said orders alleging them to be arbitrary and stating that correct legal procedure under section 69a was not followed by the government by violating free speech of its indian users the indian government in its reply filed that twitter was a foreign company and not entitled to file fundamental rights challenges on behalf of its users The Karnataka High Court said that the petition being devoid of merits was liable to be dismissed with exemplary costs and also refused to issue guidelines to the center and held that the center was well within authority to block tweets as well as accounts. The verdict in the matter was reserved on April 21st after extensive hearing for about 6 months. The Delhi High Court will be hearing on July 3rd a plea challenging the Civil Services Preliminary Examination 2023. conducted by the Union Public Service Commission 
The petition has been filed by 17 aspirants seeking to quash the preliminary examination conducted in 2023 and for reconducting the examination. The plea also challenged the press note released by UPSC on June 12th, declaring the result of the examination without providing an answer key and stating that the cut-off marks and answer keys will only be made available after the declaration of the final results. The aspirants alleged that they were aggrieved by the arbitrariness of the commission in conducting the entire recruitment cycle, while highlighting that almost all public service commissions and other authorities like high courts conducting judicial service examinations release a provisional answer key within a week of conducting the examination and even invite objections on them. The Council for UPSC raised preliminary objections as to maintainability of the suit, saying that the Central Administrative Tribunal was the competent authority for hearing the matter. A special court in Mumbai framed charges against gangster Ravi Pujari in a murder case of underworld Don Daud Ibrahim's gang member in 1999. The prosecution stated that Anil Sharma, who was a member of Ibrahim's gang, was shot dead by gangster Chota Rajan's men on September 2, 1999. The court had earlier acquitted 11 accused in the case due to lack of evidence and gangster Chota Rajan, who was also booked for his role in the murder, was discharged from the case as no prima facie evidence was available against him in Sharma's murder. Ravi Pujari is already lodged in Bengaluru jail in connection with other offences and was produced before the special court judge A. M. Patil by way of video conferencing. That was all on today's legal news. Thank you and keep watching Verdictum. And subscribe to our channel and download the Verdictum app on iOS and Android to keep yourself updated with authentic legal news.